Hi guys and welcome to episode 2 of Soware TV. Today we are talking about BB guns. Certainly are. Now, today I can see, I mean these are all yours aren't they? Um, mm -hmm. you're, you're a bit of a BB gun shooting nut aren't you to be honest? Bit of a collector. I mean I bought you, I think it was this, the first one you had was this Dan Wesson wasn't it? Yeah. Um, then after that, you, as you can see you've, you've been steadily buying them. Now, I don't shoot them as much as you to, to be honest. Um, Maybe it's something I should do more of because I know you really love it. But um, so, why are you so into these then? I mean, because you're, you're crazy about the old BB guns, aren't you? Um, I mean, most women they have diamonds, don't they, for their birthdays, flowers, chocolates, all the gubbins. I am not that kind of person. I would prefer a gun. <laughs> well, that's true because most of these have been presents, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they I have. I mean, one of them was actually. A Valentine's Day present, yeah. if I can remember last year, wasn't it? I think and that's what I love. I love the fact that they're so cost effective. It, it costs you, for what, for what you know, one of these, I'm not going to say which one because that would be going into too much detail. Mm. But for example, you got £100. Do you want a week, a weekend in a hotel? Or do you want to go? I would rather not waste my money on a hotel <laughs> and just have, have a BB gun. A BB another BB gun. gun. Yeah, so That's I, fair, I right. love the fact that they're cost effective. Yeah. I love the fact that they can be gifted. And you and like the realism, yeah. don't you? Yes, I do. Because I know you're big on that. I mean, yeah. when, you, when you watch the movie, she loves action films. When you watch John Wick, I can, you, you sort of went out a few weeks <laughs> after watching Don, John Wick and picked up this. This little Glock, what is it? Glock 26, the little small subcompact, isn't it? Little mm. Glock. Now, this is blowback, isn't it? To me, they're really cute. They're really cute. Well, that's from a woman, so <laughs> I think that's kind of badass. Myself, this one, when you call it cute. That's yeah. cute. This is kind of badass. But, you know, you, you, you like going into the garden, don't you? Yeah, to be yeah. honest, you're always out there shooting these things, aren't you? Yeah. And um, they are, you know, I can hear the kids out there or laughing the socks off with you and having a great time and, I, and sometimes I walk past and I can see the young ones having a go with them as well. It's great family time isn't it? Yeah you, know? you all seem to have a great time with it and then yeah. there's this one which you've had for quite some time isn't there? Yeah. Which again is a BB gun. Now I've done a few jobs on this one for you haven't I? Yeah Just you have. Just added yeah. a couple of things for you like the laser super cool. and the red dot sight and that does look good doesn't it? It does, it does. Um, to be honest, you wouldn't think it was just a little metal BB gun, would you? No, no. But, but it's dead easy to use and it's dead easy to customise. And again, it wasn't overly expensive, was it? No, not at all. And you've had a lot of fun with this one, haven't you? Yeah. I know it's one of your favourites. Um, so, out of the ones you've actually got, which is quite a few, I know you like the Colts. I love the Colts. I love the blowback action on those. So you know, realistic. You changed the grip sets on this one, didn't you? And I polished yeah. the barrel. Um, that one aftermarket grip you had fitted, didn't you? Yeah. So none of these are loaded, by the way. There's I was no just gas. About to There's say nothing that. in them. Okay, they're yeah. all completely empty. Um, so which one is your favourite? Don't ask me that question. <laughs> they're all your babies, are they? They're all your babies. I d this one's sentimental to me because this was my first gift. It was, you know, I think that was the Valentine's gift actually. Mm. wasn't it and I was I was in two minds whether to have the longer barrel or the shorter barrel that's but, right you went but, for the shiny option didn't you to be honest being a lady yeah you went for a shinier option and but, the littlest I do believe I mean the one I like is to be honest is your Makarov I think this I mean there's talk that these are made from actual Makarov parts aren't they maybe not going through the same heating process but you know they come out the same factory don't they they're made side by yeah. side by them I mean, this one is this one blow. This one isn't blowback, is it? No. No. But um, they're so realistic. That's the this thing. This thing weighs, doesn't it? Yeah. Honestly, this you wouldn't have to shoot anybody. You could just throw it at them. <laughs> couldn't you? I mean, it weighs a ton. This does. So Not that we go around shooting. No, no, no. Course. But this is this is this is um, this is yeah. really heavy. This thing. Yeah. But um, it would be hard to choose our favourite up to now. So. Which brings me round to a couple of weeks ago, it was, well on the last episode 
I said that I'd be showing the good folk at home and you um, a new BB gun, didn't I? Now, I, I bought it for you to be honest because I, I I know what you've like. You've got all this kind of sort of, you know, these replica pistols and that. And I thought it'd be just nice for you, your little collection you've got going on, to have something a bit different. So, um, a couple of weeks ago, I mean, you've been playing with it for last week, you've had a go. Um, and what what do you reckon of it before we show the people what it is? Is it? Oh, it's so much fun. It's brilliant, so isn't it? So much fun, yeah. I've, in the past, I'll be honest, I've dismissed them. I've seen them up on the wall in somewhere, and I sort of, nah. And then, I, I, I decided one day, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to get you something different. So I bought this gun for you and I, I sneakily had a play with it. And, I, and I, I, I found it was fantastic, to be honest. Can you remember the, fir the first air rifle you ever had, how much fun it was? Yeah. It wasn't about getting all serious, it was just about putting cans up and knocking them down and having a laugh. Can you remember yeah, those Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it brought all that back for me. Yeah. And um, I just thought, you know, that, that's what that gun's done again for us, hasn't it? It's, it's just, we've had such a, we've had a blast with it, haven't we? Yeah. And the kids have had so much fun with it as well, because it's really kid friendly. Isn't yeah, it? it is, yeah. Um, the only thing I will say with these, well, all BB guns, uh, shooting metal BBs, is for God's sake, make sure you wear eye protection. That's an absolute must, isn't it? Um, and don't shoot at metal, you know, anything with like metal targets, because no, you're going to get no. ricochets. Um, I mean, you, you always put soft targets up just for this, don't you? Yeah. Because um, you've got some old pillows you put in the back stopping and stuff and paper targets or cardboard boxes, yeah, don't you? Yeah, yeah. You draw little make pictures sure on safe. and get the kids yeah. to shoot. But um, just just be aware that they can ricochet. I mean, in the past I've caught one. <laughs> what came back and hit me, and it did hurt. Um, it's not worth the risk, especially no, not, if you're getting your like you know your juniors involved. Yeah, it's not so worth we the can't risk. stress it enough. Please always wear eye protection. Uh, it's an absolute must. But I think generally shooting, you know, you've got one. You're born with one set of eyes, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. So just look after your eyesight, guys. Okay. So just be careful. Now, I've just got to jump off camera for a second to, 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 to get the gun we're going to be Shall talking about. Here it is. As if by magic, here it is. So this is the Red Rider by Daisy, isn't it? Yeah. Now, what I've got to say, we both, you know, we've been watching other reviews about this, this gun, haven't we? And yeah. the history behind it is fascinating. What I would say, guys and girls, is just when you've got a, a spare evening, Research the, the, the history about the Daisy Red Rider and it's absolutely fascinating, isn't it? It goes it's astonishing. Honestly, it? the, the history behind this thing is absolutely fascinating. And so many American shooters, you know, their first experience of shooting has been with the Daisy Red Rider, hasn't it? Yeah. And it is, you know, you've got Route 66, you've got the Mustang car, you've got, you know, Dolly Parton, you've got all these American things, and this is to me like proper Americana isn't it? Yeah. And when, when you read up on it and, and you know find out about the, the you know this it's an amazing company isn't I it? I have no so idea. And how history. much they do and how much they yeah. do for our junior shooters in the States. Yeah. It's it's fantastic the schemes they've got going. It's just a proper family company. And I just think it, you know, it sounds like a really, really nice company, doesn't it, Daisy? And is that why you wanted to sort of do this one? Yeah, That's because I just think it's a great, great fun gun for juniors. Yeah. I think, you know, our kids have got some junior air rifles, haven't they? Yeah, they have. You know, yeah. we've got a couple of 177 Springers for the kids. And, you know, at first it was quite hard work for them, wasn't it, the weight and everything? But this thing weighs nothing, does it? It's a feather yeah. weight. And it's so easy to use. You just, you know, you literally, it's not loaded by the way. It's, um, you know, you just pour the BBs into this barrel sleeve. You can get hundreds of BBs yeah, in this Yeah, you can, yeah. And you just cock it, like you see in the films, just crank that lever and take a shot and it's just a little thuck, isn't it? Yeah. And out it goes. Yeah. Tin can goes flying, everybody's having great fun. Now, yeah, the maintenance on this is so easy. You have, after about a thousand shots, put a couple of drops of oil in there, you know, just where there's moving parts touching each other, like the lever, just just give that a tiny squirt of oil, and that's it, isn't it? And yeah. these things yeah. go on 
I mean, some people we discovered have got they've got these since the 1940s, haven't they? And they're still going strong. So it's you know it's it's a great rifle. You're gonna have it for years, and they're they're they're, they're cheap, aren't they? There's so cheap, much fun, cheerful, and that's the but thing. it's wood. Yeah. You know, the foregrip, the stock here on the back, the butt stock. It's all wood, metal. You know, it's it's a proper little gun, isn't it? Yeah. And I, I just think it's a great fun fun gun to be honest. So what what would you give it out of ten? For you know you've got expensive guns and in this and can you remember the other week when I said to you I'm going to bring you a gun that's going to give you as much fun as your yeah. expensive ones? Was I right On or wrong? On the fun factor, you can't you can you can't beat it, can you? On the fun no. factor, you can get the kids involved, like I said, and. And it gives them a feel for shooting as well. I mean, our kids are into shooting anyway, um, and our lads are quite competitive with it. Um, but but this is so non-competitive and so much fun. You can just all gather up in the garden and just do some really really fun shoot. And we're shooting. we're thinking about buying a couple more of these, aren't we? For in the, in the mm. summer when we're having the barbecue and yeah, friends come yeah, round, yeah. set up a load of old cans down the garden, just have a laugh with family yeah. and friends, you yeah. know. It's that kind of gun, isn't it? It brings everybody together. So I just think, you know, it's 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 cheap, it's fun, it's well made, yeah. it's going to last for years. What more do you want? And you, you don't have to put CO2 in it or anything. It's a spring gun, isn't it? Yeah. But it's still easy to cock. I mean, I find shooting at it like 10, 15, 20 yards, it's... It's you know you can hit cans easy with yeah, it, can't definitely. you? Yeah, I'd go with saying if you're into shooting, I believe everybody who's into shooting should own one of these. I, I do. do. I, do. I do. do. I do. Because I, I think I think sometimes it can get too serious, can't it? Mm. Where you know you, you get kit obsessed, you get yeah. scope obsessed. Yeah. You want the best this, the best that, and it's and it can be a very expensive sport, can't it? Mm. So it's nice when you find something that can you know just make you feel like. You know, yeah, take you back to the fun back. times. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just, just have good, good old fun with an air rifle, which is what it's about, isn't it? Really? Yeah. So, I mean, I give it, you know, out of ten, I give it. I wish this was metal, but it's, it's a good tough yeah. plastic. So, I'm giving it a nine out of ten. Mm. If that was metal, it would be ten out of ten. But yeah. I'm going by the price. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? So, but I give it a nine out of ten. How much we paid for this now? Now, so I wear off these in stock now. Um, so go onto the website, I'll give the guys at the shop a ring and uh, they'll tell you what the pricing is now. They're relatively inexpensive and I absolutely guarantee you, you won't regret it. I think every hair gunner should have one of these. It'd be I great. agree, I agree. I'd to love to, to meet up with a load of people and have fun with these, would you? Yeah. Imagine a massive daisy yeah, get together. Yeah, that would be great that'd for be, them, wouldn't it? Be brilliant. So yeah. we, we, we love this rifle. We know if you, if you should decide to get one. Look at this, it's got a little saddle ring on it and everything's brilliant. A little detail on it. I here. know, it's great, it's isn't it? It's cute. But uh, so it's got a safety on it as well, hasn't it? Yeah. Cross bolt safety there. So so it's you know, I give I give it I definitely give it the thumbs up because I think it's great fun. So so you give it the thumbs up, don't you? Yeah, definitely. And I definitely give it the thumbs up. I know our kids love it. Yeah. Especially And it keeps them off. <laughs> yeah, it keeps them away from the slightly more expensive yeah. ones, don't they? Because really you could buy two of these. For the price of one of these, yeah. So great for the kids. You know, you don't want them go near the, your collectible no. here, really. No. So that's the Daisy Red Rider. Brilliant, brilliant gun. Now, getting completely off subject onto someone else. A few. We were at, we met some friends, didn't we? Went for a meal, and their air gun is as well. And we got round to a conversation, um, as you do, always about air gunning. And we were discussing rifles we would never consider getting rid of. And mm. we've I've got a rifle which I would never part with. And I know you've got a rifle and you would never there's no amount of money in this world that you would sell this rifle for, is there? No. So I think what we ought to do is we'll be back in a second, I'm just gonna clear the table and we'll show the guys at home uh, our rifle, your rifle, my yeah. rifle the ones and why we would never let them go. Okay. So we're just gonna clear the table and we'll be back in a second. So here we are back with the rifle Danny will never part with now. 
Go ahead, Danny, explain okay, why. Okay, so a few years ago, um, we had a great opportunity to meet a lovely, lovely guy called Paul Dancer. Great guys. Um, who is a CPSA qualified um, clay pigeon shooting instructor. So we got talking because I had a little, a little lesson with him in clay shooting, which was great. It wasn't my thing, I'll be honest. But we got talking about air guns, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And he was telling us a lot to do with his family, wasn't he? Like yeah. to do with his father, um, yeah. who was worked for BSA, didn't he? Heavily involved, yeah, wasn't he? Yeah, really heavily involved. And we got talking, and he he said to us that he's got this really old um, BSA that he was reluctant to part with but only to the right people and and at the time we were working for bsa weren't we, we were doing, doing a lot of bits for bsa sponsored yeah. work. We, we just had a tour music. of the factory and everything yeah. there, which was incredible yeah amazing place wasn't it so we were we were a bit mad on bsa guns and and this is how this came into our hands um i mean we had all the original boxing the original paperwork which here's a certificate from Paul Dancer. What, what I'll just read, read this out, out yeah. actually. It's it's the it's the Mark One Meteor Air Rifle um, 1959. This air rifle was given to me around 1960 by my father. So, 1959, 1960. Yeah. yeah. So Paul Dancer's father, Reg Dancer, who was the public relations director for the BSA group from 1952 till the end. I believe that it was the prototype pencil letter M and the serial number 1010, one of one only. Um, this air rifle was used by the PR and publicity department to produce brochures and general sales literature prior to launch and it was passed to me to use and that was Paul Dancer's certificate to us to explain a little bit about its history. So there we go, there's the mm. certificate. And it is stamped, isn't it, 1010? It is, yeah. Now the stocks are Mark II, and we are sourcing the Mark original one. Mark one. I think he said it got, his father just updated it, didn't he? Or yeah. it got damaged, I can't, can't, I can't quite remember, remember now. But we've got all the original brochures here, and these are fantastic, the aren't they? For you, don't they? So we've got the original brochures here. Yeah. Like, but just there's so much history and we had a few personal artifacts from the family didn't we off his what his father carried as well yeah his stuff so so these have been truly looked after but i mean this is the reason i won't i would never even consider parting with this one it's because firstly this meant a lot to us that the fact that paul dancer gave us the opportunity to to, to have this rifle um because obviously it was in his family and it was passed down to him and, and, and he was very close with his father and, and I just feel truly blessed to have something that once upon a time a man absolutely loved and adored and would spend much of his time shooting this rifle yeah. and just that the history of that alone it's just the vibe of was, it he was, telling just... us, he was telling us um, a story about when he was a child using this rifle and yeah. shooting getting into trouble for shooting flower heads off in the garden didn't he yeah and it, it's just nice to know the complete history of a piece like this and the fact that it's a pro you know the, the prototype oh i know um yeah. just makes it th there's still a lot of these meteors around but to have you know the 1010 the the, the the first one really yeah um it's just special isn't it it is and what i will say this thing shoots absolutely fantastic i was gobsmacked how well this shoots honestly it's it's unbelievably accurate for such hit, an old gun and we've shot it with this original sight and i've yeah. been having a laugh with it and it, it's it's quite it's quite it's amazing isn't it we, we haven't altered it have we no. at all oh we've well, like i said it came you've, you've got the original box haven't you yeah yeah and um, even got the you know the scope comes off and that drops into its own little box which yeah. we've got as well and it's just great to have the whole thing and we're really honoured that Paul well, picked chose you, didn't us, he? Cho yeah. Chose you to, to, to pass this down to a proper piece of BSA history. And um, I think that's what it comes down to as well, the fact that it is historic. It doesn't, yeah. BSA have got a lot of history back to it and so with this, yeah. But with its age and everything else, yeah. and it's just for me, it was just such a wonderful, lovely gift. 
it's it's not it's not the price tag, is it? It's not what no. it's worth. It's just it's it's a lot it's a lot deeper than that, isn't it? Yeah, it's and a I'm, sentimental value. You'll all understand that one. I and the memories. Will. Yeah, and the memories. So that's yours. Yeah. So we'll cut to me uh, showing mine and why I, I won't get rid of that one. Okay, so this is my. I know you're all going to be slightly disappointed, expecting something really exotic, <laughs> and you know, sort of wow. And this is my RTX 200. Now I've had this gun years, years. I bought it from you years ago, and this thing still shoots just as good as the day I've had it. Now I've had a few friends, you know, approach me and say, "Oh, can I buy that RTX 200 off you, Mark?" You know. You don't really need it and it's like no guys out of all the guns I've got the TX is the one I won't sell and the reason you've explained why you'd never sell your beer so the reason I won't sell this is because me and this gun have gone on so we have been on hundreds of hunting trips together I've been out in the middle of the night I've been up in the, you know first thing in the morning done it all with this gun I've experienced, you know, when I've been out shooting on my own, I've seen things, I've seen, you know, like the wildlife and things, and this gun's been by my side through all, like, really special moments, and it's been there when life has been fantastic, it's been out in the field with me when life hasn't been as fantastic, you know, through the good times and the bad times, and I've just got so many memories with this gun, and it's got little dinks on at the stock, and it's got signs of wear, you know, but it's just one I can't get rid of because, mm -hmm. do you get what I mean? It's like a friend. Yeah. So, yeah. a lot of people out there, I'm, I'm, you will, I keep on saying this, but you will understand where I'm coming from. I'm sure some of you out there have got guns you feel exactly the same about. And this, out of all the guns I've got, this is the one I'd like to pass down. Yeah. And trust me, this thing will still be working fantastically when I'm long gone because mm -hmm. it's built like a tank. You know, and I think so the great thing about a gun that you've owned for many years is the fact that, like you said, in a way they can act as therapy. And I'm not sure if I've put this in a blog before or not, but I'll just express it now. When life gets tough, which it does for all of us, mm -hmm. we have often turned to shooting as a, as a means of therapy, haven't we? Because oh, you're getting the soul, out there. Isn't it? Yeah. And they say being out, being outside, being outdoors is good for your mental health. Now. If you've had something that you've had for years and years and it's been with you through all the naff times you've been through, mm -hmm. in a way it's been like your therapy, hasn't it? It has. It's been, yeah, it's been it like, has. You know, because it it's has. giving you a reason to yeah. just go, yeah. go and get out there when you're feeling stressed. And, and then you come back and you feel really relaxed, don't you? Yeah, when I had family, you know, going through issues with their bad health and stuff, Yeah. you know, I'd grab this rifle and I'd head to the fields and it gave me time just to be out there and think about things. And reflect on yeah, your yeah. life, So that's why, to me, this is, this is just a rifle, you know, a simple TX200, like I said, built like a tank, shoots fantastic, yeah. fantastic air rifles, and the new model that apparently I think I've heard about those that they're, they're just they're easily as good. Yeah. You cannot go wrong with an Air Arms TX200. No, no. Fantastic rifle, superbly, superbly. Underrated, accurate. I feel. Totally well, underrated. I know they're, they're held in high regard, you know, but there's a lot of new rifles coming out yeah. now who claim to be king, but these will easily match those. Trust me. Yeah. I mean, you've seen one of these in, in the hands of somebody who can really shoot one, haven't you? Yeah. And they they could shoot as good as a PCP, couldn't they? Yeah. I mean, they they were like really good. So, anyway, this is mine. This is one I will never sell, and and I think I've explained the reasons why I'd never sell it. But like I say, um, you know, thanks for watching again. Yeah, let us know what um, what your kit is, let us know what gear you have, let us yeah, know. Yeah, if you've got a rifle, what, if, you, if they've yeah. got a rifle or pistol or something they won't let go of. Yeah. Something, yeah. you know, sentimental, let us know, yeah, tell us about it. Be interesting to know. Yeah, it really yeah. will. Now, yeah. back to the Red Rider quickly before we go. We'll put, can we put a link up saying how, how, how much? Yeah, we'll put the prices below in the description, so keep yeah. an eye on that. Well, we spoke to Carl at Solware and they're uh, available aren't they, they've got them in yes, stock. Yes they are and they're very popular actually. They're I really popular yeah. yeah, I'm talking to Carl, they're they selling. It is um, and I can see why to yeah. be honest. 
So honestly, take a look. You know, have a good think about getting one. I really recommend it, and I know I you would, do. Yeah. And yeah. thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on episode three, won't we? Yeah, sure. Uh, where I think next time. I think we've got a, a pistol review coming up actually, haven't we? we? Have. Full on pistol. Yeah. Uh, we won't say what it is. We won't, we, won't, we, we know yeah. what's coming, but we'll keep you it's guys in, guessing a little bit. We'll go more into detail. Um, the, the first two episodes we've been kind of chatting, haven't we? And mm -hmm. just, we wanted you to feel us and, and get to know us and, and what our likes and dislikes are, but we are going to be doing some more detailed reviews in the future, so keep an eye out for those. Yeah, so the next pistol or pistols review is going to yeah. be a lot more in depth, won't yeah. it? It'll be yeah. a lot more specs. Yeah. You know, we'll, we'll even go down the packaging route, we'll, we'll go the whole yeah. nine yards with the next one, like I say, but we just wanted you guys to get to know us a bit, know what we're about. But thanks for watching. And we'll see everybody next time, aren't we? So yep. thanks again and shoot safely.